Hi everybody, back again, finally. It's been a hell of a long time, but I thought I'd show you some more painted uh, miniatures I've done from Zombies Hind Green Horde. This is the actual base game, the core box. Uh, so without further ado, let's get going. So we'll start off with the zombies first. The goblin zombie. I'll show you a couple of each. <clears throat> I have um, some miniatures that I showed you in the past and I wasn't quite happy with them. Um, so I'm uh, going to be redoing those at some point. And when I do, I will show you those. It could be about a month or so before I do that. And my time is very limited to what I can do video wise, which is why it's taking me so long to um, get back into the video and again. Quite a few miniatures to go through here. Try to sort of make them a bit varied. And yes, my voice is going a little bit, I don't know why, but uh, here you go. We will persevere and plough through this video. So my voice might change as the video goes along. All bases have been done very similar, just to make it more uniform. Um, I have got the updated version of Hero Quest. Um, I managed to bag a copy of that with all the extras, and I will be um, swapping the miniatures out that come with the game, mainly the um, zombies, the mummies, and that sort of thing, and getting them painted up. And I will show you them when they're done as well. These are the um, the orcs. They're looking a lot brighter on screen than what they are in person. It's only because of the light on the camera. Haven't played this game for a long, long time, so I'm well overdue for playing it again. A couple more different uh, orcs left to show you on before we show you uh, before I show you a couple of the fatties. <clears throat> so, last of the orcs for this tray. There's two trays of miniatures in the base game. Right, we'll show you a couple of the fatties now. Uh, two different sculpts with these guys. The next game that I should be getting through, uh, which I backed on Kickstarter, should be hopefully, fingers crossed, the um, updated version of the Dark Tower. Probably won't paint those miniatures though because they're already washed. They've got a lot of black wash on them um, and they look good enough for the game itself so I probably won't bother getting those painted up. A 
Okay, that's the first tray. We'll now move on to the miniatures in the second tray. Okay, this is just another one of the fatties that come out of the uh, second tray. There's a couple of these in here. There's um, also some goblins and some orcs, but they're the same sculpts as the ones you've just seen. Here is the catapult. Here is the abomination. And now we'll take a look at the heroes. Uh, we've got some cards here of them. So the first one we'll take a look at is uh, Megan. And here she is. I'm trying to keep the camera in focus as much as possible. Um, also, there's a necromancer as well. I'll show you the necromancer before we move on to the rest of the heroes. Next up is uh, Rolf. And let's get him out. Then we have Selly. Next one is Johannes. Just a couple more to go. We have a sim. And finally, uh, for this video, we have Berin. And that's the, obviously the dwarf character. So I'll just put a little pause in here and uh, show you them all in there. Boxes. So here are the all the zombies in their tray. See just how many there are. And over here in the other tray is the heroes and the extra zombies. So yeah, there you go. That's my latest update on my zombie side painting. Um, so there's a few that I'm having redone and a couple of other things getting painted up and as soon as they're done um, again it could be a few weeks before it is um, I'll post a video on here so all of those who are still sticking with me thanks very much and I'll see you all on the next video